Hello, right, you guys. Welcome back to another video. It is Sunday, and I ended up getting a few things from Home Goods yesterday that I wanted to show you guys. The first thing I got was this really cool candle. It's obsidian. I really love the font on it. And then it has the pieces of obsidian. They had a whole collection with their Halloween stuff. And then also got this one, the Crystal Child Adventuring. And this one has honestly what looks like fluorite. <laughs> but how cute are those? I'm actually gonna light one up. I like that they have a woodwick candle on them. And this is the lighter that I use. Hopefully it doesn't make like a screeching noise. I know some people who have younger ears can hear. <laughs> the screeching noise but these work really well as you just charge them they do take a while on the woodwick ones i will say i love going to home goods around this time of year though with all the halloween stuff okay so i picked those up they were 12.99 each if you are curious i think i'll put the other one over here to have in the background so cute and then the other things i got were i got a few of these cute little pink acrylic bin i want to use these to put your orders in so they're not like rolling all over the table i was only able to find two but they're super cute or two cases like glue but yeah we're just trying to be a little more organized so i got those and then these are the other ones and these were 9.99 so pretty good price and then i saw this acrylic desk that i want that i might use as a live sale table if i ever go live it had a really good price on it but i need to measure to see if it will fit in the space i actually think it will but i do need to measure and then the other thing i got was a little notebook to have down here like how cute is this but it's just I think a pretty blank notebook, but I do want it in case you guys have any notes in your orders or things to jot down, things to remember. I kind of want like a physical to-do list down here. So I got this, this was so cute. Only $4.99, <laughs> vintage sass, that's so cute. And then the other thing I got, which I'm really excited about is this acrylic box. Let me move this up so you can see the whole thing. Yeah, so this acrylic box with a lid. I wanna put all of the confetti in here one so you guys can see it better but two so we can just have more so i'm really excited about that so let's take the stickers off and transfer this confetti into here and then i have some new things to add to the confetti i'm gonna start not lighting myself on fire with the candle i'm gonna start moving over all of this confetti into the new acrylic bin okay so hopefully this isn't too loud i guess we'll find out Sounds kind of loud. But it looks really good. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, yeah, we have so much more space. So I'm gonna throw some bracelets in. And then let's fill this up with the other confetti supplies that we have. Alrighty, now we can add everything in. looked kind of trippy. <laughs> Ooh, that looks so fun. And I think I also spice it up. Want to add in a couple more bracelets. And I think I'm just gonna add in the bottles as well. All right, that's a pretty bougie confetti. This is definitely gonna be harder to mix, but I will do a good job mixing it. There is what the confetti looks like. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. And we can always use this to mix like we did before. Okay, that looks 
pretty good for now. We'll mix it as it goes down. And I do still have the new Pokeball. Pokeballs coming to add those into this mix. They should be here, honestly. They should be here soon. Is this super heavy? Oh my God. Yes. Now what I'm worried about is if I can move this pretty easily on this table. Oh my God, it's like really heavy. Okay, I might have to put it. I had it on top of the magazine so I could slide it easier. So let's see if that helps. But the fun part is there's a little lid. So I can like take the lid on and off. There, so like nothing gets in it. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. Oofty. Okay, so let's see if this is easier to slide. This being on top of the magazine. It is easier for sure. Cause I will slide it in and out of the frame. Cute, oh my gosh, I love it. There's a look on the side. You know, I could still do some better mixing, but never fear, we will do that. I mean, I don't know if I'll honestly use the lid, maybe just at the beginning and the end of each video. But we are in fact going to be packing some orders today. Oh, there's all these little mini chips. So I'm gonna reorg. I do not want that to melt the acrylic. That would be bad. But I think overall my setup is pretty good here. Got my little stickers off to the side and scoop bitty scoop. And then I am actually just gonna write in my brand new notebook what needs to get done. I'm gonna make just like a mini to-do list here. So we needed to make the new confetti mix. And then another thing I need to do is restock the bubble wrap. And then another thing I need to do, put the extra boxes away. We needed to reorg the shelves. I do need to find a bin to put all the paper in. I think I'll need to buy that. Buy bin, do door packing paper. And then, so we are on tomorrow, so the order is from August 1st through. So we'll do pack orders from August 1st through the 3rd. I meant to abbreviate August and then I just started writing it out and then I stopped. Okay, so I'm sure there are other things I need to do, but I'll add them as we go. But we did make the new confetti mix and I did reorg the shelves but we we'll still need to do the rest of these things. But we'll start with orders because I don't want to get too late into the day. It is Sunday, so I can't ship anything out today, but they'll ship out tomorrow. So I guess that would be another thing. <laughs> drop uh, orders at post office. And we do drop off all the orders because I don't want to risk anything getting lost or stolen. Once they have it, it's in their hands. It's just like the most safe I feel about it. Oh, I need to put the bracelets away too. Okay, so we got a good list of things to do. I honestly don't think I'll get through all of this today, but I'm trying to keep myself a little bit more on track. So let's get started packing the orders. All right, we got our new little baskets going. So the first thing they got is this super gorgeous peached moonstone. These are really high quality. And then she also got a mini mica star mini lapidolite mini mica that in here then she also got a green flower agate and a mini carnelian sphere so those are the other two pieces and then she got a lapidolite palm stone which has a little pink on it so we'll go ahead and pull that for her as well let's get this order all packed up for her all right and we'll also get her a scoop Ooh, <laughs> this is such a big All right, there is the scoop and we will get this all a bubble wrapped up. All right, and here is everything in her order all packed up. I absolutely love these new boxes. I think it'll help me stay super organized when packing up the orders. So let's get this in a box and get it all shipped out for her. Okay, and then for our next order, get a another box. She ordered a flashy blue moonstone bracelet. So we'll grab her one of those. 
this is actually our last one, but they're so pretty. I am gonna try to get some more. And then she also ordered a mystery box. So let's go and grab all the crystals from the crystal vault. But before we do that, let's do the scoop first, just so I don't forget. And she ordered a small mystery box, which is the $50 one, if you guys are curious. And I think we did used to have a mini one for $25, so I'll have to check on that. Oop. Okay, there is her scoop, and then let's go grab the items in the crystal vault for the $50 mystery box. Okay, so this is what we have for her mystery box. If you don't wanna see no peeking, <laughs> the first thing I'm gonna give her is a little butterfly stand. These come apart like this, so they're easy to ship. I'm also gonna give her a little pyrite cube on a matrix. These are super cool and fun. I'm also doing a moonstone heart. I think these ones all have flash on them. You just have to get it at the right angle. I'm also giving her a super high quality rose quartz raw chunk. These have the garrisol in them and they're almost see-through. I'm also giving her a garrisol palm stone. These are a little bit blue. This one is super high quality. I'm also doing a smoky quartz free form, an obsidian tower. This one's a silver sheen, a fluorite top polish point, a moss agate palm stone, and a little ocean jasper sphere. So that is everything in her mystery box. Let's get it all packed up for her. All right, here is her mystery box all packed up and we will get it in a box and shipped out for her. All right, you guys, here is our next order. It is a big one, so I'm gonna walk you through each of the pieces. I'm sorry if you can hear the vacuum running upstairs. The robot vacuum is in fact going, so please <laughs> ignore that if you can. But let's get into this order. The first thing they picked up is this gorgeous starfish. We got this in Denver last year and this is our very last one. These are super chunky carvings and I absolutely love the starfish. I will try to get more if we can find them again this year. They also picked up a fire quartz heart. This one is super flashy. It's got rainbows all over it. They also got a few palm stones. They got a lapidolite one and a spider web obsidian. We do still have some of these left but we are are running out. They also picked up this super flashy purple labradorite palm stone. This one is gorgeous. They also picked up two of the peach moonstone hearts. These are so flashy. I think I only got a few of them, so we are all sold out now. They also picked up our carnelian and moss agate tower. This one has a little jersey right there. They picked up some mini carvings. They got a little mini flower agate skull, a rainforest jasper, a rose quartz doggy bone, and a rainbow smoky quartz mini sphere. They also picked up this gorgeous high quality rose quartz pendant from Brazil. They picked up the blue appetite palm stone from our Timu haul. They also picked up the amethyst jersey heart from our Timu haul and this fluorite slab from our Timu haul. They also picked up this gorgeous carnelian slab. These are my favorite. Luckily, we've been selling through them now. I think showing them in the YouTube videos has shown how absolutely stunning they are. We do still have a couple left, and then I do still have some more to list. And then because this was a very large order, I am gifting them a aquamarine heart. This is one of the bigger ones that we have. And I'm also gonna gift them this white plume agate skull. I haven't sold these yet, but I think the carvings are absolutely beautiful. And the white plume comes from Indonesia. And of course we will get them some scoops. I'm gonna give them a couple scoops just because it is such a large order. There's one scoop. 
there's another scoop. Well, let's just do one more for fun. All right, there is their scoop. All right, we'll work on getting everything all bubble wrapped up and shipped off to them. Let's get started. All right, you guys, there is everything from their order all bubble wrapped up. It's a lot. So let's get this in a box and shipped out for them. Thank you so much for your order. All right, you guys, it is a little while later and we are back with our next order. They got a green and purple amethyst tumble from Zambia. They got an eighth vein ocean jasper tumble. They got a lavender and sage jadeite mini mushroom. They got a smoky quartz mini sphere with guaranteed rainbows. And they also picked up the absolutely stunning citrine and amethyst bracelet. I love these. I only was able to get two and we will get them a scoop. All right, there is their order and let's get it all packed up for them. All right, there is their order all bubble wrapped up and we will get this in a box and shipped off to them. And I forgot to share my drink of the evening. This one is the Strawberry Rose. I really like this one. This one's probably my favorite out of their sampler pack. And then the other flavors I like are not in their sampler pack, but this one is very good. So let's open this on up and get to packing the rest of the orders. Cheers. All right, you guys, our next two items are these gorgeous pink quartz with hematite. These are so pretty. We do have a few of these left. We picked these up in Tucson earlier this year, and this is the other one they got. So let's get them a scoop. We'll get it for them. All right, and let's get everything all bubble wrapped up for them. All right, there's their order all bubble wrapped up and we will get this in a box and shipped off to them. All right, you guys, and this is the next order. It's actually an all flower agate order. The first thing they picked up is this gorgeous green flower agate money toad. Look at how beautiful this one is. I love the colors, especially on the bottom, but this one is so stunning. They also picked up a flower agate mini skull. I thought this one had really unique banding across the face. And they also picked up our last flower agate fish. I thought these were so cool. And this one's more of a, ooh, look at the depth on the bottom of that one. My dog's getting in the bubble wrap if you hear that. <laughs> but let's get her a scoop going. I lost a few of the chips. <laughs> all right, and there is her scoop, and let's get these all boxed up for her. All right, 
There is their order all bubble wrapped up and let's get them in a box and shipped out. All right, you guys, and this is the last order we are gonna pack tonight. They got a Morganite bracelet. These are so colorful and beautiful. We do have some like triple A grade Morganite coming where the beads are almost translucent. I'm so excited for those, but I do like the opaque ones because you get more credit for the beautiful color of the barrel, but still super excited for those. They also ordered a fluorite tumble, but I'm gonna give them two because we're almost sold out. This one's actually really gorgeous. I mean, they're both really pretty. They also ordered a lapidolite tumble. I like this one. It's kind of fun and spotted. And they ordered a high quality pitolite mini star. And this one, it's a little bit hard to see, but it's super translucent and pretty. So let's get this order packed up for them. We'll also get them a scoop. All right, and we will get this all packed up for her. All right, there is her order and let's get this in an envelope. And I'm just gonna do our little checklist here. And then I'll be back in this same video on Wednesday to finish this parts of this checklist and pack more orders. So I did restock our bubble wrap and I did pack all the orders through August 3rd. I do need to open another inventory box because we have lots of mystery boxes and I want brand new items for that. So we'll get that done maybe tomorrow. And then I do need to list some palm stones and I also have a bunch of items on my phone to list photographed they've already been photographed I just need photographed crystals they just need to be listed so I think I'm gonna actually do that tonight once I sign off of this video so we still have a lot left on our to-do list but we will get there <laughs> all right I will see you guys on Wednesday all right you guys welcome back it is Wednesday Ugh, and we are going to be packing orders. We have not as many to get out, which is nice. So we'll try to get as many as we can packed today. We are also working on getting our carnelian video and everything ready to go. So that is super exciting. I still need the chip away at my to-do list. Some of this I got done, some of it I didn't. So we'll just keep chipping away at it. There are a few things I need to add. Carnelian unboxing. I want that to go live. And then listing all of those. So that's gonna happen this week. And then our studio vlog 11 is going live tonight. So I'm gonna, whoops, add that on here so that I can check that off. And then, yeah. I did start unpacking another inventory box because I wanted to open up some new crystals for the mystery boxes. We have a lot of mystery boxes that we're doing today. I wanted to get a jump start on that, but without further ado, I also wanted to share my drink of the day. <laughs> this is a watermelon mint and I've actually never tried this brand called Nixie. Really good though, very refreshing. It's kind of like a mojito, but less sugar. So I really like it. I also have on new nails today I have like a brown color I don't know if I really like love them but they look good with the carnelian once that goes live you guys will be able to see and I got my hair done today I'm not gonna show it because I don't know I guess I could but anyways look it's lighter it's not all over light but I know that's I'll I'll, I'll, I'll put a video or something of me a picture when this video goes live <laughs> because that's not a very good job of showing you guys but anyways we are gonna get started and we'll do those Etsy orders, so let's go. All right, you guys, and here is the next order. Okay, so they got a gorgeous carnelian heart. This one has some really cool patterning there. They also picked up a silver sheen obsidian spider early for Halloween. They also picked up a strawberry quartz strawberry. 
These are so cute. They also picked up our new large money toads. These are heavy. So that is the main part of their order. And then they also got a $150 mystery box. So we're gonna go pull items for that in our crystal vault and I will be right back to show you everything I pulled for them. All right, you guys, and here's everything I picked out for the mystery box. I wanted to do a pretty eclectic assortment. Starting off, I picked out this mini malachite tower. Look at how gorgeous that is. The polish on these is insane. We just opened up a bunch of these, so they are getting it before they even launch in our shop. The next thing I picked out is this gorgeous little agate tower. These are self-standing. This one is just so pretty with the little pop of Druzy. I also picked them out a moss agate wand. These again are so pretty and I love the blue and green combo with the quartz. I love that. I also picked them out this citrine freeform. These are actually from Africa and they are a little bit darker than our Brazilian ones. They're kind of more of like a root beer yellow but they're really pretty and we did get a bunch of the free form so i wanted to include some in the mystery boxes i also picked them out a soda light tower this one is so beautiful this is another thing we just opened these are the green amethyst presiolite so we just got a bunch of these so they're gonna get one before they go live in the shop the next thing is a unicorn stone sphere. This has pink tourmaline, purple lipidolite, quartz, and smoky quartz. So really fun combination. This one also has some pyonite, I think. And I'm also doing a pyrite skull and a bumblebee jasper heart. So that is everything in their mystery box. So let's get this all packed up for them and shipped out. All right, you guys, and here are those items all bubble wrapped up. This was her main order, and this is the mystery box item. So let's get this in a box for her and get it all shipped out. All right, you guys, and this is our next order. They got these two super colorful bracelets. I absolutely love this candy color Alishan. And then they also got the purple Chalcedony. So pretty. And then they also ordered a Peruvian Rhodonite tumble and a Lepidolite tumble. We will get them a scoop and then they also ordered a small mystery box. So I think we have quite a few mystery boxes to put together today, but let's grab them a scoop from the big scoop box. their scoop and I did get the new pokeballs in for the confetti so we'll get those in here but let's go ahead and grab their mystery box and I will be right back to show you what I pulled for them okay you guys so I had a little fun with this one I kind of picked a, an eclectic assortment of things just because I like to give a lot of variety with the mystery boxes so the first thing I picked out was this gorgeous labradorite tower this one has some really nice flash on both sides. I also picked up this mini obelisk. It's a flower agate. I just thought the plumes and the coloring were really nice. I also picked out a moonstone palm stone. This one does have the blue flash on it. It's a little hard to see with the ring light, but there you can see it. I also picked out an amber bracelet a little mini labradorite snake, a tree agate slash a moss agate little wand, a mini druzy agate tower, and these do self-stand. And then I also picked them out a piece of raw minerals. These are just so cool, and these are from Morocco. So those are the items I picked out for the mystery box. I think there's a lot of fun variety in these. So let's get this order all boxed up for them.
All right, there's everything all bubble wrapped up and ready to go. Let's get them in a box and all shipped out. Hey, question for you. Have you been thinking about starting a crystal business? Don't know where to start or feel a lack of community? Well, guess what, you guys? I have a Patreon that has access to a private community and Discord server for just $18 a month. You can learn from other businesses, make friends, learn along with me, and topics include pricing, shipping, Shopify, Etsy, and so much more. So head over and join us on Patreon for just $18 a month. Everything is linked in my bio.